Maria Talchief was one of the most celebrated American ballet dancers of the 20th century. She was the first Native American to become a prima ballerina and a pioneer of classical ballet in the United States. She was also a muse and a collaborator of some of the most influential choreographers of her time, such as George Balanchine and Jerome Robbins. Maria Talchief was born on January 24, 1925, in Fairfax, Oklahoma. Her father was a chief of the Osage Nation and her mother was of Scottish-Irish descent. She grew up in a wealthy family that valued education and culture. She started taking piano lessons at age three and ballet lessons at age four. She showed great talent and passion for both arts, but eventually chose to focus on dance. When she was eight years old, her family moved to Los Angeles, where she continued her ballet training with various teachers. She also attended Beverly Hills High School and studied music at the Hollywood Conservatory of Music. She made her professional debut at age 15 with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, a touring company that brought ballet to audiences across the country. She adopted the stage name Maria Tallchief to honor her Native American heritage and to stand out from other dancers. Maria Tallchief quickly rose to prominence as a soloist and then as a principal dancer with the Ballet Russe. She dazzled audiences with her technical brilliance, musicality, and charisma. She danced a wide range of roles, from classical to contemporary, and created many new ones. Some of her most memorable performances were in Firebird, Swan Lake, Les Sylphides, and Petrochka. In 1946, Maria Tallchief married George Balanchine, the legendary choreographer and co-founder of the New York City Ballet. He became her artistic mentor and partner, creating many ballets for her that showcased her unique abilities and style. Some of these ballets were Orpheus, Symphony in C, The Nutcracker, and Allegro Berlante. Maria Tallchief became Balanchine's first American muse and one of the stars of his company. Maria Tallchief divorced Balanchine in 1952, but remained his friend and colleague until his death in 1983. She also married Henry Passion, a Chicago businessman, in 1956 and had a daughter with him. She continued to dance with the New York City Ballet until 1960, when she left to pursue other opportunities. She guest starred with many companies around the world, such as the American Ballet Theater, the Royal Danish Ballet, and the Paris Opera Ballet. She also appeared on television, film, and Broadway. In 1965, Maria Tallchief retired from performing and became a teacher and a director. She founded the Chicago City Ballet in 1980 and served as its artistic director until 1987. She also taught at various schools and institutions, such as the School of American Ballet, the Herod Conservatory, and the Kennedy Center. She received many honors and awards for her contributions to ballet and to Native American culture, such as the Kennedy Center Honors, the National Medal of Arts, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Maria Tallchief died on April 11, 2013, at age 88. She was remembered as a trailblazer who broke barriers and inspired generations of dancers. She was also praised as a cultural ambassador who brought beauty and joy to millions of people through her artistry. She was a true legend of American ballet.